you might be thinking that creating a functional web app is super hard and complicated and also you need to know how to code but here's the truth in the next few minutes i will show you how you can create a functional web app without writing a single line of code and knowing what is a front end and what is back end. In this video, I want to show you how you can create a simple web app using cursor and design system that you prepared in Figma. Hi, my name is Sergey, and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And now let's get started. So I have my cursor open. Uh, I have a blank new chat uh, window over here. Uh, I have my folder open. Um, all the files from this project will go to this folder. Um, so I have my prompt already set up, prepared. Uh, and uh, the prompt is going to be about Instagram uh, slide carousel creator web app. It's going to be really simple. I want to make it like super simple without any backend. Uh, and the goal is to be able to upload uh, text, which I'm going to send to this app uh, in just... Uh, uh, like one one uh, block of text separated by three dashes and I want this web app to separate uh, these paragraphs uh, which are separated by three dashes uh, into different slides so basically um, every text between these dashes will go to a separate slide uh, and uh, I want to be able to um, choose uh, Google fonts that are going to be applied to the text that goes over the image and also I want to have a um, black fade out gradient uh, under the white text uh, so um, it's readable. Uh, I want the text to be customizable so the font size to be customizable and I want to be able to choose the Google fonts as I said. Uh, also I want to be able to choose a margins uh, from uh, bottom left where the text is aligned uh, and by default it's going to be 40. Uh, the uh, font will be Roboto, uh, the size 24 uh, and um, the default size for the images is going to be uh, 1080 by 1080 but I want to be able to choose uh, the uh, popular Instagram sizes for example I want to I don't want to have the square one I want to have uh, for example a portrait mode uh, or for like I don't know stories for example and uh, one more important thing is that I want to be able to use uh, my design system that I prepared in Figma uh, well now for just demonstrations uh, demonstration purposes I used uh, a simple design system from Figma uh, I just copied it to my uh, to my Figma account and what I want to do I want to just uh, share uh, this link to this um, simple design system just in case I want to check that MCP uh, is enabled um, how to enable MCP and how it works, you can check out another video on my channel. Link will be on top. Uh, so one more time, uh, I'm going to copy uh, with can view, anyone can view. Um, I think this one works better uh, in case you wanted to have it like only invited people. But um, I figured out that when you put anyone, it works perfectly. Uh, so I copied the link. And I go back to my prompt and I just paste the prompt over here. So it says use design system from Figma file to create a UI for this web app. And let's copy this, um, this prompt and paste it to cursor. Um, pay attention please that I'm using agent auto. So uh, I want to see how it works in the basic free mode. Um, if you have a paid account, you can, of course, choose, uh, for example, ChatGPT or Claude Sonnet. But for this demonstration, I want to use auto and to see what kind of the results we're going to get. So now I press send. Uh, once again, this should be a really simple app uh, with only HTML, CSS and JavaScript without backend without some authorizations or whatever so we'll see how it's going to work and um, currently cursor prepared us a to-do list for himself <laughs> uh, what it's going to do and um, this is super cool that we can actually sort of like track um, what kind of things that he's doing what kind of um, tasks 
he is um, implementing right now. Uh, as we can see that uh, it already um, created a index.html file uh, and several JSs. Uh, and here we can see that HTML, basically, for, for ones who don't know, HTML file, uh, here is index.html, uh, it's uh, the like a skeleton. So basically, it's just the code um, explaining uh, the browser where all the things are located, uh, where the elements of the website, for example, and how they, they're aligned and um, like, it's basically the structure of elements on the web page. Um, the CSS file is uh, the one that uh, is all about um, styles and it's all about how the, uh, the website or this web app should look, what kind of colors it should use, what kind of like buttons and all the things like that. Um, and JS is uh, the thing that uh, actually does all the functionality. So basically when something happens on the web page, uh, this is where JS works. Uh, it's JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And currently, uh, Cursor wants me to run uh, NPM. Uh, well, I don't even need to know what it is. Uh, and we just like agree to everything and we wait. And we wait what's going to happen. And I hope my computer is not going to burn down right now. And uh, let's wait. So after a few minutes, uh, we have our project ready. Um, so um, uh, Cursor is finishing up and we just need to click uh, keep all and uh, now we can see that uh, the app is ready I hope it's gonna work uh, and let's see what happened let's see it in action so I launched the file of the web app uh, it's called index standalone HTML uh, this is what cursor uh, created and here how it looks it looks pretty simple um, yes we can see right away that it used the design system we provided from the uh, Figma and from the Figma file. We can see all the borders. We can see the buttons. They look the same. This is really good. Uh, and we can see all the inputs uh, look nice. Um, settings. Let's see how it works. So basically, we need probably to click here. Wow, this is good. Uh, we have this uh, slider. Uh, like a picker for the font size. This is okay, but uh, I wonder why I can't pick more than 84, but okay, let's leave it for now. I can like the way uh, it shows different sizes. You see square, portrait, landscape, story. Uh, it also used probably some of the UI elements from this uh, Figma design system. But let's paste uh, the text that I want to be uh, that I want to add um, on the slide. So basically, you see, it gives us uh, the information here that will help us to understand how the text will work. So I just paste the text here that I have prepared, and I used a size 30 for the font size, Roboto for now, and text padding 40 and square. Um, no slides yet, so probably slides will be uh, created here. So let's create slides. And here I created them. And as you can see, wow, it looks pretty cool. So um, here I can see different slides. Uh, I can like move uh, between them. And as you can see, it works perfectly. The text is for the first slide here. This is the text for the second one. You see they're separated by dashes. I can add slides. You see it adds a slide, but no text here. I can delete them and I can click on the slide and probably I can, uh, yeah, I can use it to upload an image. Wow, this is super cool. So let's let's upload an image for the first one. Let's upload it and it works perfectly, guys. Can you see that? Wow, this is super cool. And let's add another one and another one and the fourth one. Yeah, I like this one. So yeah, it looks it looks pretty cool. I missed I think I missed something. Yeah, I missed the third one. Let's let's add it again. Yep, here's this third slide. As you can see, this is super easy. 
that I can upload photos and add all the text here. I don't need to like use some fancy app or even Figma to add slides. And um, I can export the carousel and it exports into JSON. Hmm. Uh, interesting. But basically what I want to do, I just want to be able to copy and save the image from uh, from the preview. Uh, and it doesn't allow me to do that for some reason. Uh, but let's uh, try to put another, use another font. And I want to use, for example, Railway. Uh, and as you can see, we can change the font and it already changes here. So it's live and I can like play around with the paddings and I can use another, another font and for poppins, I, it didn't work for some reason. Uh, probably I need to uh, create uh, slides again. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, the the Roboto is fine, but uh, the ones are the Montserrat. No, it doesn't work. Poppins doesn't work, but Railway, no, no, it's not working. So uh, only only Roboto and Enter works, but we can fix it. So basically, what we want to do, we can uh, we can um, tell them that uh, we want to have a download option. Uh, so I want to be able to download the photos. The next thing I want to fix that fonts are not working. So basically font, uh, font selector is not working. Only Roboto uh, can be applied. Um, fix it. Let's see. All right, so it finished. Uh, I hope all the fixes are done. And let's keep all. And now let's see uh, what it has done. So I just reload the page uh, and uh, in settings, uh, let's use uh, railway and I'll paste the text again, create slides. Uh, and now I can see that three buttons were added. Again, the colors are right from the design system. So I can download uh, the current slide, download all slides. Uh, and expert configuration. Uh, let's see how it's how it works. Yeah, uh, now we can see the railway is added. Mm, we can try to change it to Poppins. Yeah, all the texts are working now. Oh, the fonts are working. This is beautiful. Uh, and this is super cool, right? Uh, and now we can try to add photos. Uh, let's add them. Yep, like this. And for the third one, and the fourth one. Okay, so they're all set up. And let's try to click download current slide. And it is downloaded, as you can see, perfect. It's here. And I can try to download all slides. Yeah, and they're all downloaded now. As you can see, they're all slides are downloaded successfully. It didn't give me a, this notification. This is super cool. Yeah, so I all I got all the slide uh, all the slides here by separate images. So it's not even a uh, zip file, which is really good. That means that I can use uh, this app um, from my phone. Basically, if I upload it to some hosting or something like that. I think the app is ready to use and I'll definitely use it for my uh, carousels. Please let me know what you think about this. And uh, this is super cool. In like several minutes, we uh, created a uh, we created an app that we can use and we don't have any backend here. It's really simple. We just used a simple prompt uh, and uh, we use a design system from Figma file. So which is super cool as well. Um, Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please let me know what you think about this. And uh, if you have any questions uh, or um, 
topics that you're interested in, please uh, comment down below. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like the video if you like it. This will help others uh, to see it in YouTube and it will promote this video on YouTube, which is super important for me. And uh, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.